A huge test for the football Tigers this weekend. First ever trip to Athens, Georgia to play the seventh ranked Bulldogs. MU head coach Gary Pinkle was reminded yesterday it's been over 30 years since Mizzou has beaten a top 10 team on the road. You were Googling all day for that stuff, weren't you? <laughs> so, first of all, I don't think I'm, I think I'm the only one who's alive in the 60s and 70s here that, that's in this uh, in this room. Uh, you know, we, we don't we don't look at that. We just do. We're, this is this is uh, this is a new year, and uh, we're focused on you know this football game. Five and oh, Missouri coming off an impressive road win at Vanderbilt last Saturday. Georgia escaping with a win over Tennessee. National League Division Series Game 5 is set for tomorrow night. Cardinals and Pirates in St. Louis. If the Cards win, they will host the Dodgers Friday night to open up the NLCS. In the American League, Detroit wins over Oakland. That series tied up at two heading back to California. Boston leads Tampa Bay 2-1 in the seventh. Red Sox also lead the series by a 2-1 count. Boston can wrap it up if they hold on to win. The Jefferson City Soccer Jays coming off a win over a nationally ranked team from Kansas over the weekend at the Gateway Classic. JC battling battle high from Columbia tonight, scoring early and off, and Marcus Woodruff, individual effort, 1 0 Jeff City. Moments later, off the corner kick, Aaron Crane to Eric Sporlander. He gets credit for the goal. Two zip at that point. A third goal just 10 minutes into the game. Mason Vonderhaar assisting to Logan Horn. Jays up 4 0 at halftime. They cruise on to the 10 to nothing win over battle. Right next door at the Art Furley Soccer Park, Elias hosting Rockbridge about 12 minutes in. Nice passing by the Bruins. They score Jacob Kavarik to Connor Blitz for the goal. Bruins led it 1 to nothing. Off the corner kick, Celine Giamatti heads it in. It's a 2 0 Bruins lead at that point. And more teamwork for Rockbridge. Kavarik. Finds the Nets. Rockbridge wins easily 3-0 over Helias. For all of your local soccer numbers, go to our soccer stats page at connectmidmissouri.com and also check out these scores. Moberly over Camdenton 3-0 and it was Marshall beating Mexico 2-0. Our soccer stats page is brought to you by your Jefferson City area YMCA. You can find it at connectmidmissouri.com. The Mizzou volleyball team is finally getting some national respect. Ranked number 25 in this week's coaches poll. Team Kreklo still unbeaten playing Austin P tonight. Tigers in the far court. Whitney Little the kill. Watch the save here by Molly Kreklo. Keeps it alive. Regan Peltier from Nixa, Missouri spikes it. Truman likes that. Lisa Henning with another kill for Missouri as they win it in straight sets over Austin P. Tigers improved to 19 0 on the season. That is the best record in the country. Pink out night for the Jefferson City Lady Jays volleyball team. Chris Myers team hosting Springfield Kickapoo. JC wearing the pink. Abby McNally big hit at the net. Lady Jays won the first set 25 20. Senior hitter Madison Bond a quick hit. JC wins the close seconds at 25 23 sweeping Kickapoo in two. On your Jefferson City High V scoreboard, Southern Boone beats Kirksville in two. It was Centralia over Montgomery County, California downing Versailles, and it was Marshall over Fulton. Tolton falls to Christian Fellowship in three. Calvary Lutheran beats Niangua. On to the high school softball scoreboard, Blair Oaks takes two today. They beat Osage. And Eugene, the Lady Falcons are 20 and 4 on the regular season. Boonville, 7 3 winners over New Franklin. District play begins tomorrow. District semifinals in girls tennis. Elias and Jefferson City both win on the home courts. They will play for a district title tomorrow, 4 p.m. at Washington Park. And a good turnout in our online voting for the high school football play of the week. More than 650 votes. And here is your winner from the Helias homecoming victory over Rockbridge. A little razzle dazzle. The halfback pass from Garrett Bush chose to Christian Hake. And that is our Wall Street Group play of the week.